Birch. Sun Tzu, The Art of War. How did you guys spend your quarantine? I spent it mindlessly grinding Birchwood on Hypixel Skyblock in order to reach number one in the collection for absolutely no reason other than views. I'm not kidding. It all started back in May. Nick and I had decided to throw our collective hat into the ever-growing ring of Hypixel Skyblock, and we were trying to think of what we wanted to accomplish with it. Nick had his own plans for Skyblock series on his channel, but I was still unsure of what I wanted to do. We decided to take a page out of Technoblade's book and go for number one in a collection. The only question was, what do we go for? I wanted to go for the most useless resource we could find, so we quickly decided on wood. Spruce wood at the time had a little bit of value, but the rest of them were literally worthless. Nick pushed for dark oak, but we ended up choosing birch wood. Best wood, don't at me. After picking the collection, the race was on. I knew I couldn't go at this alone, so on May 12th, 2020, Nick, Dotto, and I started our very first high pixel skyblock island. After our other very first high pixel skyblock island, and began to lay the groundwork for birch one. Parkour. <laughs> This is going to take a while. We knew that in order to get anywhere in the collection, we'd have to utilize a combination of manual labor and minion output. In case you've never played Hypixel Skyblock, minions are little workers you can place on your island to get specific resources, like diamonds, cobblestone, flowers, birchwood, etc. You can get up to 24 minions on your island to collect whatever resource you want. You can level up each minion from tier 1 all the way to tier 11, with each tier costing more resources, but yielding more resources as a result. Also, to unlock each of the 24 minion slots, you have to craft more and more unique minions at different tiers. Getting max minions as quickly as possible was going to be key in achieving Birch 1. I spent most of the first day collecting birchwood while Nick and Dottle began gathering other resources. By the end of that first day, we had five birchwood minions and a few thousand birchwood in my collection. I also got my first axe, an Efficiency 5 Telekinesis 1 Golden Axe that I would go on to use for the first couple of weeks. The first hurdle we had to overcome with getting to birch one was actually getting a rank. How Hypixel collection stats work is that once you collect a resource, Hypixel shows you what percent of the server has collected as much of the resource as you have in the collection menu. Like, say for instance you collected more gold than 99% of all people that have played Skyblock, the menu would say that you're in the top 1% of that collection. Where this becomes a problem was actually knowing how high up I was in the collection ranking. Once you get into the top 1,000 players in a collection, Hypixel displays that fact to you on the collection board. So that meant that I was going to have no clue how well I was doing compared to other players until we got into the top 1,000. I was basically just blindly stumbling through the leaderboards for a couple of weeks. By May 21st, just 9 days into this journey, I had amassed 9 minions and about 194,000 birchwood. At that point, I was top 0% of all players at that point, and just a few days later, I would get my first official number. 864. As days turned into weeks, I began soaring through the leaderboards, getting a spot in the top 200 by the end of June. It was also around this time that I really started getting serious about my minion output. A good half of the now 700,000 birchwood that I had gotten up until that point was chopped by hand, and I knew that to continue flying through the leaderboards and to ensure a top spot anytime soon, I would need to improve my minions. In late May, Nick and I began construction of the Birch Bastille, a three-floored structure with space to hold all 24 minions once we got there. In the center of the Birch Bastille, we placed the Wood Cutting Crystal, which gives a 10% boost to any wood minions within its 12 block radius. With the Bastille built and ready for use, it was time to get the minions on drugs. Now minions work just fine on their own, but there are a handful of fuels that you can give your minions to increase their speed and output. Each fuel type varies in the length of time it can be used, how much it costs, and how much it boosted the output. I started off by using coal, which just gave a 5% boost for 30 minutes, and quickly moved on to hamster wheels, which gave a 50% boost for 24 hours, but also had the side effect of making my bank quite a bit lighter. It was also around this time that I got my first main upgrade for the manual part of birch farming. Up until now, I had been using the standard Efficiency 5 Telekinesis 1 Golden Axe that I had gotten on day 1 as a gift from Kami. The axe allowed me to chop down trees quickly, and the custom Telekinesis enchant sent the wood directly to my inventory, saving me time from having to sit around and wait for all the wood to pick up. This axe was pretty good, but there were definitely better axes out there. For a brief time, I used the Jungle Axe, which was able to break 8-10 to 10 logs with a single swing, but I knew the best axe out there was the Tree Capitator. The Tree Capitator had the ability to break down entire trees with a single swing every two seconds. I needed it. The only problem was that it cost all the money. Oh dear, if only I had a rich friend that could maybe help me purchase it. So yeah, I now had the best axe in the game, which greatly helped improve my speed when farming manually. One other thing I did was dabble in the world of pets. Don't look at me like that. Yet another aspect of Hypixel Skyblock was the pet system. In Hypixel Skyblock, you're able to collect a number of pets that all have their own special perks. 
You can buy pets on the auction or from the traveling zoo that comes around every couple days. Skyblock pets have five tiers, common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary, with each tier having stronger perks. The pets I was looking to get were the ocelot and monkey pets. The ocelot pet had the ability to boost all woodcutting minions on your island by a certain percent when you were online and on the island, and it also increased the amount of foraging XP that you gained from cutting wood in the birch forest. The monkey pet had the perk of giving you a high chance of getting double the amount of logs when chopping wood. After a couple days of searching, and spending some money, I got my hand on an epic ocelot and an uncommon monkey pet. The only issue with this was that I now had two pets, but you could only have one selected at a time. So that meant I sucked myself into the never-ending cycle of going AFK on my island at night with the ocelot pet, waking up and alternating between chopping birchwood with either the monkey pet or the ocelot pet to level them up, and AFK on my island, and collecting birchwood from my minions in between. <gasps> that was a lot of words. By this point, we were about a week into June, and things were going pretty well. We were nearing a month into this journey when I finally hit two big milestones within 24 hours of each other. On June 7th, I had officially acquired my first 1 million birchwood, and on June 8th, I finally hit number 100 on the birch leaderboards. Nothing could possibly go wrong at this point, right? Actually, no. In fact, things got a little better. But only a little. You see, one of the main issues the co-op has had during its life is, well, we lack funds. <laughs> Up to this point, I have been lucky enough to have some certain <clears throat> outlets that I had gotten some money from, but if I really wanted to survive in the fight, I was going to need to make some money on my own. Luckily, a new Skyblock update came in to save the day. June 7th, the SAC update. This update did a couple things that changed the short and long term. With this update came a number of small additions and new items, but the most important of these were the foraging sack and personal compactors. The foraging sack was an item that could hold over 20,000 of every kind of wood inside. This meant that you could hold inventory's worth of wood in just one inventory slot. The personal compactor was another new item that, when held in your inventory, could instantly craft items into their enchanted form. Like, say for example I emptied some of the wood from my foraging sack into my inventory. The personal compactor would take all the birch wood and instantly craft it into enchanted birch wood. Over the next couple of months, these two items would literally save me hours of time that would have been spent crafting enchanted birchwood and dumping the loads into my island. The short-term benefit of the update was that, because of the new items, people started collecting a bunch of wood in the forest. Now this sounds like a bad thing since it meant there's less wood available for me to collect, but it was actually a really good thing because it made the price of birchwood skyrocket for a couple days, which really helped me fill that hole in my bank. By now, we were dipping our toes into the summer, and I was continuing to climb the leaderboards. The summer was really my biggest chance to grind for Birch 1 as much as I wanted since I didn't have school or anything, and I couldn't go anywhere because of the casual worldwide pandemic. So throughout the summer, I spent countless hours farming Birch 1 in the forest, and any time that wasn't spent farming was spent AFKing on my island. The real MVP of this whole journey was my PC. Thank you for not dying on me. The only time that I was actively offline was for one week in July while I was on vacation. My obsessions aside, let's talk a little bit more about the summer. There weren't too many massive events that happened this summer, but there were definitely a few notable moments. Obviously, there was the sack update, but what else was there in June? Well, June was a month mostly just filled with slow, but steady progression. We began construction on a massive sugarcane farm at the bottom of the island as an attempt to make money, but we were all too lazy to farm it, so it didn't actually do too much for us. And yeah, that was it for the majority of June. We kept getting new minions, chopping more birchwood, and slowly climbing the ranks. But... All this hard work for our first two months finally paid off when I hit the most important milestone yet. Oh, come on, that was funny. Don't give me that look. No, I won't lower my voice! But yeah, that was June. We nearly filled out the second floor of the Birch Bastille. I spent way too much money purchasing enchanted lava buckets for a permanent minion fuel source, and I closed out the month with about 2.5 million birch wood. Uh, thank you. Now, July is where things started to pick up a little bit. Things have been going pretty well so far, but Nick, Dot, and I were over a month into this, and we were getting kind of tired. I had spent countless hours online and was starting to burn out a little bit. Dot and Nick weren't spending as much time on the island, so for the most part, it was just me. Getting new minion slots was getting a lot harder because we already crafted all the cheap minions. I wasn't seeing a ton of progression in the first week of July, and we really weren't making any money. This is when I decided to crack into the world of free labor. I mean friendship. You see, during our time working on Birch 1 up to this point, there was a certain someone who would occasionally drop subtle hints that they wanted to join the island. And so, in mid-July, we added Ruby to the co-op. But we aren't even close to the end of July yet, so that begs the question, what else happened this month? Surprisingly, a couple of things. First off, we actually made some extra money from the sugarcane Ruby had been collecting from our farm, though that farming pattern of hers only lasted for a couple of weeks. I also had my one true break during this month, the one-week vacation that I mentioned earlier. Other than that, there was just... <sighs> one last thing. 
At the very end of July, we were in a similar situation to the start of the month. No one but me was active and I needed somebody to be online and help me make some money. Because Birchwood isn't exactly the most profitable industry if I have not made that clear yet. So I dipped my hand into my pool of friends and... Hey. Oh no. By the end of July, the co-op had a full crew of five people, the island had 21 minions, and I reached number 28th on the Birch leaderboards. Closing out the summer was August, and what happened? <laughs> Let's review! I kicked off the month by getting number 27 on the leaderboards. By the second week of August, I had found the next new way to help me increase my Birchwood output. The monkey pet. Now obviously, I already had a monkey pet, but it was only an uncommon monkey. An uncommon monkey is good, but a legendary monkey would take it to the next level. On top of the perks of an uncommon monkey pet is the Evolved Axis perk, which decreases the amount of time for a tree capitator's cooldown. The more I leveled up the monkey, the less time in between breaking down traits with the axe. This could potentially double the amount of birchwood I was collecting. The only issue was that it costs nearly 30 million coins. If only I had a rich friend that could maybe help me per- So by mid-August, I had my hands on a level 65 legendary monkey pet that I started spending time working to get to level 100. Over time, it was slowly getting more and more difficult to move up places on the leaderboard. I had the bold concept that I would try and get to top 10 by the end of August. After all, things were going pretty well. We were steadily climbing the leaderboards, consistently getting money, I got my first 10 million birchwood, and we hadn't really faced any major issues so far. What could possibly go wrong? Well... That's when we get into August 21st, the collection update. August had been going quite steadily, and by the day of the collection update, I was number 17 in the world in Birchwood collection, with just under 11 million Birchwood. In case you guys didn't know, the collection boards are how you're able to check what your overall ranking is in every collection, whether in terms of percent or an actual number. So that meant when I opened the collection boards and checked Birchwood, it would say number 17. And that was true! until August 21st, the day of the collection update, when I opened the collection boards for the first time that day, and... I... I... J what?! So yeah, on August 21st, now three months into this endeavor, Hypixel decided to start messing with me. In my humble opinion, the collection update did absolutely nothing except screw with my head. You see, the only changes made to the collection update had to do with how collection data was displayed. If you didn't have 25,000 of a certain resource, then the percent would no longer show up. The thing is, Hypixel still holds on to the data of the total number of players in a collection and where you stand. So do tell me, if Hypixel still has the data, why did they take away the ability to see it until you reach 25,000 of it? Whew, I am sorry if I'm ranting, but I just don't understand. The contents of the update didn't actually affect me, obviously, because I already had over 25,000 Birchwood. The reason why I was suddenly at number 4, seemingly overnight, was because, in order to implement the most pointless update of all time, Hypixel had to reset the rankings, and your data would return once you logged back in. So that meant out of the top 17 people in Birchwood collection, I was the fourth to come back online, so I was fourth on the leaderboard. So no big deal, right? I would just get pushed back to 17th as the rest of the top Birchwood people log in. Well, yeah, but... I don't know. The rest of August went by pretty smoothly. I left the month with over 12 million Birchwood, a new minion, and some more money, but... I don't know. Something felt wrong. This was kind of the point where I started falling into a bit of a funk with the whole Birchwood thing. Within a week, nearly all 16 people that were still ahead of me logged back in, and soon enough I was pushed back to number 17. The week in general really threw me off, because the main thing I really learned after the collection update was that all of my main competitors were still active Skyblock players. I don't know why, but it really threw me off, and that feeling kind of just stuck with me for the rest of the month. Would I really be able to overtake all these active players? I wasn't sure. Despite that attitude, I still kept working to climb the leaderboards. By the close of the summer, I had over 14 million Birchwood, nearly filled the Birch Best deal, and barely managed to crack the top 10 of Birchwood collection. The bold concept had been achieved. September began, and so did the school year. I had less time to grind manually with the influx of assignments, so I began focusing on leveling up my Ocelot pet and buying strong fuels to increase my minion output to make up for the decreased amount of time spent farming. September kicked off with me hitting number 9 on the Birch leaderboards with nearly 15 million Birchwood. Finally, after weeks of feeling like this fight was becoming hopeless, I was finally getting somewhere. Well, I was, until September 8th, things get weird. By things get weird, I mainly mean Hypixel Skyblock's newest update. The community update. The updates of the past had been so kind to me, so I just couldn't wait to see what was in store. So, the community update. What is it? Well, faithful viewers, I'll have you know that the community update is what changed everything. The community update added the one thing Skyblock was truly lacking. 
government. It added elections to the end of every Skyblock year, new calendar events, and most importantly, community upgrades. At the community house, you were able to upgrade parts of your Skyblock account, including the size of your island, number of guests, whatever. The only one of these upgrades that actually mattered to me was the extra minion slots upgrade. Up until this update, you could only have 24 minions max on your island, but now with the update, you could have up to 29 minions. So after the day of the community update, I worked to upgrade my max minion slots over the rest of the month. All things considered, September went pretty well. By the end of the month, I had secured the number 5 rank in the world in Birchwood, with over 20 million Birchwood and 26 Birch minions. At this point in time, we had made it to October, and I was getting pretty tired. I had been farming Birchwood nearly every day for almost 5 months. Birch 1 by now felt more like an inevitability than a possibility, and I really just wanted to maximize output so we could get there as soon as possible. And so, in the first week of October, now at number 4 in the world, Nick and I decided to push up our glasses and get to work. For the past few months, I had been using handfuls of upgrades on my minions to help the output. I used hamster wheels as fuel, which gave a 50% boost for 24 hours. I also gave my minions super compactors that would take the wood the minions had collected and crafted a new enchanted birch wood, and diamond spreading, which helped me make money. Nick and I decided that, in order to increase output, we would need to swap out the diamond spreading with minion expanders, which increased the minions radius that they worked in, but also gave them a 5% boost. While Nick and I were figuring out how to optimize the output, we made some interesting discoveries about the woodcutting crystal. Turns out, most of my minions weren't actually getting that 10% woodcutting crystal boost, because the woodcutting crystal is GARBAGE! We spent way too many hours trying to find a way to get all the minions within the crystal's radius, but it ended up just making the minions even slower. I also switched my fuel from hamster wheels to hyper catalyst, which increased the output by 4 times for 6 hours each. Now the combination of no more diamond spreading and the increased price on the hyper catalyst meant that I was losing a lot of money, so I began construction on a multi-floor carrot farm to help me make a little cash. The rest of October was just spent refining and perfecting every area of virtual collection possible. I got my hands on a Moil True Capitator. Thanks, Claude. That gave me a 2% foraging XP boost when farming manually, and the minions were as close to optimization as we could achieve. From the middle of October all the way until the end, I collected 1 million birchwood every two days. For comparison, it took me nearly two weeks to get my first 1 million birchwood. I closed out the month with a whopping 37 million birchwood, nearly double the amount I'd entered the month with. The one thing I didn't mention that happened in October was I hit number 3 on the Birch leaderboards. There were now only 2 people left in my way. The reason I didn't mention this earlier is because I got it on October 8th, and then nothing. After months of constant growth and moving up the ranks, nothing. I stood stagnant on the leaderboards, just blindly moving forward to an unknown destination. For over a month, nothing. Halloween passed by, my birthday passed by, and just nothing. I started falling back into that funk again over the month. Were the top two people somehow collecting birchwood faster than I was? What if I never passed them? What if these past six months were all a waste? Which brings us to November 15th, 2020. I woke up, collected wood for my minions, checked the leaderboards, and... After a month, finally, number two. It changed everything. I finally felt like I had a chance again. Like number one was soon to follow. I was at 44 million birchwood and continuing to grow every day. The only problem was that I apparently pissed off the previous number two that I had just passed, because less than two hours later, I was back down to number three. The number two person I kept bumping back and forth until it was the only thing I was focusing on in Skyblock. I was putting so much money and time into trying to secure that number two spot, so I could just focus on getting number one, instead of having to focus on keeping number two. All I could think about was trying to stay ahead of them. While I kept fighting for number two, issues started arising. I was running low on money, none of my co-op members were logging on anymore, I had less and less time to play Skyblock because of an increase in schoolwork, and things were just not looking up. I was slowing down, and I just kept thinking that this is the end. That I had peaked at number two. I would never complete this journey that I had spent six months on. But then, I was farming Birchwood and I look at the thing and it says number one. I am the number one Birch farmer on high pixel sky block. November 26th, 2020. It happened. After six and a half months, finally I had become the number one Birchwood farmer in all of Hypixel Skyblock. 
out of literal millions of people. After six and a half months, it was over. I was done. We celebrated that night by giving away most of my things, including finally giving Fran a black cat pet as a thank you for making my profile picture. We built the simple, containing the names of those who helped me through donating money or items to the cause, put up some of my most important items for display, and finally, took down the Birch Bastille. In its place, we built a large birch tree for people to see when they came to the island. We sat around together, talking about everything that had happened over the past months, and how crazy it was that we came out on top. We talked, we laughed, and we said our goodbyes. By morning, I was back down to number two, but I didn't mind. I logged on for a bit the next day. It was the first time in so long that I had an AFK overnight. I kind of just sat there for a minute and took it all in. After so much time, after so much work, after so much bugging my friends, I made it. Ever since November, the island has stood empty. My carrots and sugarcane have gone unfarmed. The chests have sat unopened. As I sat there, looking around at everything I'd made, thinking about everything I had accomplished, I thought back to May, when Nick and I were just sitting in a call, talking about maybe going for number one in the collection. I thought about the summer, the crazy updates that almost ruined me, the hours I spent in the birch forest, and all the people that helped me get there. But also, I knew that once I left the island that day, I wouldn't be returning to Skyblock. This was the end of the road. I walked around, looking at every bit of the island, taking it all in one last time. And once I was ready, I logged off.